<laughs> hey everybody, it's been quite a while since I've talked to you guys. That's Suki, by the way. But I just wanted to come back in here and talk about why I've been gone for such a long time. I feel like for a while, I have wanted to just come here on this channel and sit in front of the camera and just like let my heart out, just talk about anything. But for a while, I just got so lost in the algorithms and I guess what's trending, what I should be making to grow my channel channel also thank you so much if you're still watching my channel after all this time because it really really means a lot for me but for some time i felt like i wasn't really able to be myself on this channel i was just trying so hard to reach these numbers and i showed up in front of the camera even when i didn't feel like it which well some people might say yeah that's how it should be like you should do things even if you don't feel like it but if you know me you know i'm so so, so bad with hiding my emotions and stuff so people were like hey you look so sad I feel like for a very long time it's been quite hard for me to show up on here I feel like I've kind of lost my path and I've lost myself too so I just felt like I don't even know what I like anymore I don't know who I am on this channel and I felt like I was just like a random robot or whoever like just putting on a personality or, or trying different things that just actually don't make sense for me. I remember there was this one comment after my wedding that really got to me. Somebody was saying that, girl, like, you just had your wedding. This should be the happiest time of your life. And why are you sounding so sad? Because, like, you know, you should be super happy right now. And while I was very grateful for the person that I have right beside me in my life and having a beautiful wedding and getting a puppy as a wedding gift, well, I I just felt very lost and like my thoughts felt so negative. I feel like I've always struggled with negative thoughts and being a perfectionist and overthinking all of that stuff. I just feel like I lacked and I still lack a lot of self-love and eventually my husband and I just agreed that hey how about I don't worry about like all the financial stuff because that was also something that triggered me to want to like grow on YouTube eventually. I was also getting all these thoughts from my childhood like oh I'm being a burden i'm being expensive and it would be better basically just without me you know so eventually we talked about it we got to an agreement that i should just focus on nurturing our little family and that really led me to like completely take a break from youtube but now i've been slowly thinking of getting back to it because this is something that i actually felt very passionate about in the beginning i remember being maybe like 10 and making these silly videos with my my cousin because I just really love I guess watching other youtubers so we did like a chubby bunny challenge but starting out I was feeling very passionate about YouTube I loved watching other youtubers and so I wanted to make some videos myself as I grew older I started watching more like productivity content more encouraging content and then I thought hey like I would also like to be the person who can and bring some encouragement into somebody else's life kind of motivate them a little bit and now moving onwards i just want to try to be myself share my journey of finding myself becoming a better person and yeah oh my gosh my my foot oh my gosh my foot fell asleep Whew. i'm hoping that this will be like a new starting point for a new chapter in my life and on this channel and i'm hoping to continue finding myself and continue improving myself and i hope that i can inspire you guys to do the same so thank you so much and bye bye